Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya one more time. Praise Ahaya from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann and Yesaya the Christ. Yesaya of Nazareth. Yesaya, <coughs> sorry, the Messiah, if you want to know why I call God Ahaya. And the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yesaya, I've done a video. Check the description box or the pink comment section. Okay, brothers and sisters, I won't be too long. I'm going to go through a little bit of housekeeping. You can skip this bit and just find where the message is. All right, and listen to it. Okay, whenever I make a comment, my name, sorry. My name is Sister Carrie, and it is in solid gray border. If it's not solid gray border, that's a demon pretending to be me. You need to report, uh, you need to rebuke and report them. Okay, on this channel as well, brothers and sisters, we do the top 20. <clears throat> Sorry. It's a pleasure for me to, to call out the, the top 20, the first 20 brothers or, and sisters who comment on the video. I call out your name. It's a pleasure for me to do. But equally, it's also to help you to build up your spirit, man. It's to help you to be alert, to be aware, to be sober, to be vigilant, to watch the times and the season for what? What are you watching for? The returning of the Messiah. Yes, higher. Because why? He is coming back. When, you, when everything comes to an halt, Yesiah is coming back. Glory to your name. So these are the top brothers and sisters underneath the powerful video called Mushroom Nuke. Um, this one I saw um, and I told people that, which one is it? Yeah, it's about the Mushroom Nuke, brothers and sisters. So, sorry for hearing noises, my children upstairs play. It's okay. Shanna Fisher, Stacy, and Small. Delight, Edna Gaese, Blue Lily, In the Vine, Sarita Matthews, Servant of the Lord, The Holy Watcher's Ministry, Kim ha Kimani Bonwari, Sarita Pearson Barnes, Um. Antoinette Sharives, okay, sorry, Anita Sharives, Ice and Emma, Manasseh Tribe, Nikita Bumbere, Z, Roberto Pasco, Lily Mansa, All Things Made New, Ya Daughter, Such a Lady. Zero four five six Mah Mahala Buddha Butter Selma Ortiz Lady so Selma Ortiz and Terry and Walker, hallelujah, top 20 brothers and sisters, okay, and remember to like the video, share them, so, uh, yeah, subscribe, <laughs> share them, um, comment, because it really, and watch to the end, because it really does something to the algorithm, I appreciate if you could do this for this channel, hallelujah, glory to your name, Lord, okay, brothers and sisters, so we are near, we're near, not only to the returning of the beautiful, beautiful Messiah, hallelujah, because he's coming back, but also we're near to the revealing of the Antichrist, he is at the door, and the lawlessness of sin, NWO, the new world, that is what we're near to, and you have to be, um, you've got to understand the times and the season, all right, we're also, that's a prophetic theme banner, we are near, we have a prophetic theme song, it's also called We Are Near as well, um, it's a song that my mom taught me when I was a little girl, um, she used to hide sweeties and what have you, and she used to play the game We Are Near, hallelujah, sorry brothers and sisters, she used to play the game We Are Near, and, um, and so she used to sing the song We Are Near, okay, brothers and sisters, so the song goes like this, Oh, now you are on now you are on there, you are on now. Oh, now you are on there, you are on now you are on there. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near, and we can sing that song with confidence. Okay, <clears throat> brothers and sisters. I've been receiving a couple emails, not a couple, but about six or seven emails since yesterday. Quite disturbing. Um, yeah, very, very disturbing. And um, 
When the emails started to pour in, I was like, okay, Father. I didn't know what to make of it because I haven't physically seen though that sent me videos to watch. You know, a couple of brothers and sisters sent me videos to watch concerning black people in in the Crane country. In U uh, the Cr Ukraine, I call it Crane, all right? The Crane country, all right? And um, some couple of videos, couple of emails saying, Sister Karen, what's going on with the blacks over there? It is not right. They're not letting them through. They have something called first policy, which means that it's the white people that are the first to leave the country um, to go to neighboring neighboring um, countries for 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 support and security, but the blacks are having a hard time. So I didn't, I said, okay, father, I said, this don't sound right, but why am I doing this video? Because remember I had the emails coming through this morning at about four o'clock. I just couldn't sleep. Um, so I went on my face. Oh, I'm always waking up early in the morning. Oh Lord. So I went on my Facebook. And when I went on my Facebook, the first thing that pops up, it was a uh, Jamaican Gleaner. It's a, it's a newspaper in Jamaica. And this is what just absolutely sent the message home. It really did send the message home. I mean, obviously when I got those emails and what was going on to, the, to, to, our, to our people in Ukraine, I was very sad about it. Um, but I suppose I didn't know the seriousness. If you understand what I mean, you know. So this morning, 4 o'clock, went on my Facebook. The Jamaican Gleaner thing popped up. And it was the Jamaican minister, foreign minister. I think she's a, yeah, she's a foreign minister for the country. And she was talking. She basically said, this is what she said. She said, the medical student, these are the students in Ukraine that's studying to become doctor, the Jamaican students that the, the, the Jamaican um, government have um, made a way for them to leave. Is it Kviv? Kviv, the, the city. So they made a way for them to leave Kviv, um, Ukraine, and go to Poland. So when she said that, I said, oh, that's really, really good. All right. So she said that it's about 24 students or 25 students all together that the government has, you know, rallied up to leave Ukraine to go to Poland. I said, that's fantastic. Brothers and sisters, when the woman began to talk, she said, oh, ever. She said, oh, ever. While they're traveling on the bus to come out of Ukraine to go into Poland, she said the bus was stopped by people. Well, she never... We know the white people, isn't it, really? And so I'm thinking to myself, okay. So she said, when they stop the bus, these are Ukrainians. These are not Russians or anybody else or different. These are the Ukrainians. Stop the bus. So when they stop the bus, brothers and sisters, they told the people to get off the bus. When the student came off the bus, they must have said, oh, where are you guys going? And then, you know, the explanation said, look, we're leaving Ukraine. We're coming from K, K Viva city, all right, in Ukraine, and the, the Jamaican government has made provision for us to go to Poland. You know what? These people turned to the Jamaican students and said, they gave them two options. Two options. They turned to the Jamaican students on this bus and said to them, you have two options. Number one, you turn the bus back around and go back to Kaviv, this is the war zone that Putin want to nook. This is what they said to them. You either turn the bus around and go back to Kaviv. And they were like, it's a war zone. I mean, at the ending of the day, in a war zone, you're not going to be able to buy food, water. So why are you going back? Then the second option for the Jamaicans were, if you're not going to go back and stay in Kaviv or whatever they call it, you cannot drive over and go to Poland. You've got to walk 20, 20 kilometers, kilo, kilometers. That's far, brothers and sisters. That's like me walking from here to London. It's about a, I don't even know. For, if I'm going to walk to London, it's going to be, yeah, a day or something like that. I couldn't believe, I had to really sit there, watch this woman deliver this message. 
And I'm thinking, is she real? But she is real because she's a foreign minister for Jamaica. And I was like, God, higher. These brothers and sisters were drawing my attention. I've been getting emails, drip, 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 bit by bit, Sister Karen, this is what's going on. You know, it's not that I wasn't paying attention, but I had so many other things to do and to talk about and what have you. So the Lord allowed me to see and, and know the seriousness of this. Brothers and sisters, the black people in Ukraine are facing heavy, heavy... They're not letting them go. The Ukrainians were at the border, whatever, who, you know. They're not letting our people go to come out of Ukraine and get on buses or trains or wherever to go to safety. They want them to stay in the war zone. And when that lady talked, you could see the pain in her hand, this Jamaican minister lady, foreign minister. You could see the pain in her eye because what this is going, this is not right. You see, the whole entire world, including me, including me, pray for Ukraine, isn't it? Oh, pray for Ukraine. But when you strip back the surface of what's going on to the most tired people, Ahaya is not pleased. You're telling us to go back into a war zone. If you're not going to go back to the war zone, you cannot take the bus. You've got to walk. That is just pure barbaric. You see, it is okay, isn't it? In 2022, it is okay to do interracial marriages. It is okay to go on TikTok and flaunt your white husbands or your white wives or your whatever, black husbands or black wives, you know, from different marriages. It's not racism. It's, it's everything is fine. The portray on television, it is all good. There's no such thing as you know racism because black men married white women white women married black men this is a perfect family the show it on tv it's just a cliche because the truth of the matter is it still exists how can you stop a group of people who wants to go to safety and said to them go back into the war zone if you're not going to go back into the war zone, you cannot take the bus. You've got to walk it on foot. So the update on this story is that two of the Jamaican medical students have fallen poorly. They are sick. They become ill. This is how serious this thing is. Why are they doing this to our people? Have we not been through enough? The heart of some people are just wicked, isn't it? Because imagine you are about to get nuked by Russia. But yet still you have the energy to have racism behavior against people of color. It, it just don't make no sense. But it does make sense because it shows how deep hatred. Ahaya tells you. It tells you that they do not love you. If you read the book of Psalms, I think it, I, did a, I did a video on it. It tells you that your enemy hates you. They hate you very much. And in the midst of war, when people should be rallying together, when people should be coming together, skin color is still a barrier. Those, those our black um, people, our people are stuck in Ukraine. While we are praying for Ukraine, because when I was praying, I was praying for Christians in general. I'm praying for the Ukrainians in general. But you have... You have to be specific when you pray, isn't it? So if you're going to pray for Ukrainians, Ukrainians means you're praying for people who um, are of that nationality, but you've got to look at people who are just students. You've got to be specific in your prayer. So now we're going to pray. We're going to pray for the black people who are stuck in Ukraine. I was stuck in the Korean country that the most die. It reminds me of what I've been trying to say to brothers and sisters concerning the second exodus, isn't it? Because when the second trip to yonder, I call it trip to yonder, the second exodus, trip to yonder. Because when the second trip to yonder begins, we are going to get a hard time. It's not going to be easy. The Bible says that the dragon spit water after the woman. And this is the reason why we're going to need angels. Because if we don't have the angels, yeah, 
It's going to be because some of us do not even hear the Holy Spirit anyways. We're struggling to hear the Holy Spirit. We're struggling to hear the Holy Spirit in this dispensation. When the, when the trip to yonder starts, how are you going to hear him? So a high is going to send angels. That's why angels are going to come for you. To guide us and to protect us as we maneuver to go <clears throat> sorry as we maneuver to go into the wilderness and the situation with the 24 medical student Jamaicans it reminds me of, of the, the second exodus it's not right but we're going to pray we're going to pray for the black people stuck in, in the crane country Whatever is going on in the Korean, because I don't believe you've got to understand this, brothers and sisters. I don't believe you're normal. I don't believe you're normal. Ukrainian is gonna come and stop them. I think it's coming from higher up. I really do. It has to. It's coming from higher up because it's the hatred. So it's coming from higher up. And, 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 and the issue is because there's so much upheaval going on in the Crane country, you cannot go to the courts now. You cannot go and write letters or make a complaint because it's war. Who is going to listen? So who do you complain to in a war zone? Nobody. So a higher, the most style will have to step in for our people. It's not right. So we're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to ask the Lord to um, to beseech, hallelujah, to step in for the blacks that's, that's trying to flee the crane country and the injustice that's happening. It's very wicked. And, and, and I think about myself. I think that could be me and that boss. No, I'll give me say With three kids, a disabled son, a six-year-old and a ten-year-old. And they say to me, I'm sorry, you, you, can't, you can't leave Ukraine. You've got to go back to the city where there's war. Or you walk it to where you want to go. But yet, the policy that they have is called first policy. All the so-called white Caucasian Jews, no problem. No problem. Bus is here. Go on, on the bus. Train come. Go on the train. Go to neighboring Poland, go to neighboring Kresh, go to neighboring Netherlands. The fine because of the color of the skin. Black phobia. It's not right. So we're going to pray because it's a spiritual thing. This is not physical. So it doesn't make sense, you know. You curse and carry on. No, because it's, it's, it's a spiritual warfare, spiritual wickedness in high places. So we're going to pray. We're going to sing a song that says, he is here, hallelujah, he is here, amen, he is here, holy, holy, I will bless his name again. He is here, holy, holy, hear him calling out your name. He is here, you can touch him, you will never be the same again. Let's sing that one more time. He is here, hallelujah. He is here, amen. He is here, holy, holy, I will bless his name again. He is here. 
you can touch it, hear him calling out your name. He is here, you can touch him, you will never be the same again hallelujah so we're gonna beseech the, the, the throne of the most high hallelujah oh glory glory to your name lord we praise you we thank you we honor you we lift you up we magnify you you are the king of kings and the lord of lord father god there is absolutely nothing in this world that is too hard for thee there you are the higher of the impossible that is your speciality glory to your name and so father we come to you right now father because there's a situation that is going on in the crane country heavenly father where the war zone is lord we have been praying for ukraine we've been praying for the crane country that lord there will be a a ceasefire that lord there will be peace that lord that 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 rush rush the bear country will not hurt the people of of ukraine of the crane country and we pray this sincerely to you and asking you lord with our hearts to, for you to step in but lord we have a problem we have a problem that has been brought to the forefront that we have to talk about, that we have to pray about, and it's your people. Hallelujah. You are not the higher of only white people, Lord. And the world needs to know this. The world needs to know that you love your black people. The world needs to know that you love other races and not only white people. But Father God, though this world has been brainwashed for so many centuries, for so many years. So, Lord, I am asking you, Father, to send your warring angels to guide and protect your people, the blacks, Heavenly Father, in the crane country that is going through the oppression right now, Lord, that the enemy is stopping them, Father, from leaving. Father, the scenario with your people, with the Jamaicans and the boss, Oh, my God, when you look into the situation and see how wicked this is, Heavenly Father, I know, Father, that you are moved by this wicked act. And so, Father God, while we've been praying for the Christians in the Ukraine, while, we, while we've been praying for the Ukrainians, Lord, I am asking you to take a look at the blacks in the country. Father, see the injustice of your people. It is time. Enough is enough, Lord. What more can we do? Father, we have so many equal rights here. Equal rights there. Courts here set up for the black people. Courts here. If you do this, you go to court. Lord, it's not working. The heart. Is a, there's a problem, Father. With the hearts of men. The Bible says that the hearts of men are desperately wicked. Lord, I know that this oppression for the blacks to stay in the Ukraine country while the war is going on, while the Jews, while the Caucasian Jews can flee, I know that this is coming from the higher heads, coming down, that this is something that has been planned. And even in war, hatred, is still been shown. But Lord, I know that you will never leave us and you will never forsake us because why? You are a just a higher. You are a righteous judge. And we can we can rest comfortably in that, knowing that Lord, when your people are oppressed, you will come through for them, Lord. I pray that you will make a way for the blacks that has been oppressed in Ukraine right now. Father, fight for them. Work on their behalf. Remember, Lord, the, 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 the Jamaicans who right now is walking. Oh, God. 
20 kilometers to go to Poland. Two have fallen ill. Cover them, Lord. Cover them, Lord, as they take the track. Bring them home safely. I pray thee. I just, I just pray. Lord, I just pray for divine covering over the blacks. That is in the Ukraine country right now. This is a special prayer for them. Like I say, Lord, we have been praying for the Ukrainians. Yes, we have. We have been praying for them. But this is called for a prayer for the black people that is in Ukraine right now. That is in the Ukraine country. Lord, we're asking for divine intervention. Because this is just pure and premium wickedness of your people. Because you are the Ahaya who loves everybody. You are the Ahaya of love and justice. Intervene on their behalf. Protect the blacks right now, Lord, in the Crane country. Make a way out of nowhere. Shelter them. Even, Lord, they get stuck in the war that is ahead. I pray that, Lord, you will shelter them underneath your wings. That they will have a powerful testimony. That through it all, the most die. Hallelujah. He's with them. But these things must be because the hearts of men, you said in your word, it is desperately wicked. So, Lord, I pray for this divine protection over your people, over the black people, right now in, in the Ukraine country, as we give you honor, glory, and praise. All these things we ask you in Yeshaya, holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. We had to do that, brothers and sisters. It's not right. It's not, it's no point to come in here and curse and, you know, no point because it's spiritual wickedness so you got to you got to fight spiritual with spiritual all right you got to fight it brothers and sisters these people are just the heart of satan in it they just got the heart of the devil so yes brothers and sisters and um what i will say to people you know listen 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 my advice to you is don't throw stones behind you you know and this goes for everybody. You know, if you live in a different country, you know, and you, you go to Babylon, UK, Babylon, US, Babylon, France, and all these Babylonian country to say you're going to make a better life, right? Because more opportunity is in them. Never, ever close the door behind you and curse off your own birth country. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, I just felt led to say that. Don't don't curse your own birth country. All right, so be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Ahaya, just like Enoch. All oh, praises, all oh, beautiful praises to the Most High, Ahaya who lives above the heavens. Ahaya eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In yes, Ahaya's holy name. Amen and amen, amen. I said the benediction. It is Jude chapter 1, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise, yes, higher, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.